Hello once more and welcome to our 107th test and measurement video. We'll review an array of digital multimeters and a single mode voltage indicator. Prices range from under $10 to the better part of $1000 and as in all instrumentation you get what you pay for. Of course there is not a precise correlation but if you are looking for accuracy long-time reliability, and a user-friendly interface, don't expect to find it in the bargain bin. We'll begin with this small digital multimeter purchased for under $10 at a big box store. It measures AC and DC volts and ohms, but not current. It has an audible continuity tester, which emits an increasingly feeble beep at under 30 volt ohms. Due to its small size and light weight, it appears to be reasonably impact resistant. At the price, you shouldn't expect much in the way of advanced features, such as frequency measurement or capacitor and diode check, but it doesn't take up much space in the toolbox or on the bench, so it is convenient that way. It is probably good to have one of these meters as a spare. The classic Fluke 287 True RMS multimeter sets the standard for all such instruments. It is equipped with a seemingly endless array of advanced features. The extraordinarily clear display and simple user-friendly interface make it a joy to use. The CAT 600 volt rating in CAT 4 locations and 1000 volt rating in CAT 3 locations means that this meter is good for 3 phase 480 volt systems. Selling for under $500, the Fluke 287 multimeter measures AC and DC up to 1000 volts between any terminal and earth, so it can be used on 480 volt variable frequency drive line inputs. The DC bus, which measures 678 volts, higher than the utility supply which derives from peak to peak rather than RMS voltage, can be measured with this meter. The Fluke 287 multimeter also measures current with 400 milliamp and 10 amp fused inputs. It also measures resistance up to 500 mega ohms and has a very melodic continuity beeper. Additionally, the meter does frequency readings and capacitance and diode checks. It has built-in elapsed time and time of day clocks, hold capability, and an isolated optical interface. It can log data to your PC with a capacity of 10,000 readings. Wireless connectivity is optional. There is an available temperature probe, excellent for evaluating high horsepower motors and terminations. Another fine fluke instrument is the T6-1000 electrical tester. Like the 287 multimeter, it is okay for 1000 volts in a CAT3 location and 600 volts in CAT4, where there is greater available current. The maximum current rating is 200 amps, and the tester will accommodate a 4 aught conductor. The Fluke T6-1000 electrical tester resembles a clamp-on ammeter. Both are non-contact instruments, but rather than sensing a magnetic field, the T6-1000 senses voltage or current by means of capacitive coupling to ground. The Fluke non-contact electrical tester is also a multifunction meter. It has conventional leads with probes making voltage and resistance measurements. There is an audible continuity indicator. The great thing about the T6-1000 tester is you don't have to contact the conductor and insulation need not be removed. For this reason, there is less hazard in measuring elevated voltages. To take a reading, the conductor must be placed at the bottom of the fork. While taking a measurement, place your finger firmly against the indicated spot on the meter's rear panel. 
This provides a good capacitive connection to ground and no hazard to the user. Turning the rotary selector to field sense, you will see the readout illuminated green when you have a good connection. Another useful meter is the solenoid voltage tester, commonly known as the WIGI. It has no batteries, receiving its power from the circuit being tested. The applied voltage activates an internal solenoid and visual indicator. The meter makes a loud click or a 60 cycle buzz when AC is sensed. This vibration can be felt in a noisy location, so the meter is good on the factory floor. It is not a true multimeter since it measures voltage only, but it is quite useful in many situations. An important fact about the solenoid voltage tester is that it is a low impedance instrument. This is in contrast to most multimeters with field effect front ends that have high impedance at the inputs. As a consequence of the low impedance, it should not be used on sensitive electronic circuits, but it does have an interesting application, which is testing an in-circuit GFCI. Insert the two leads into the GFCI neutral and grounding conductor outputs. If the GFCI is good, the voltage tester will pulse and the GFCI will trip out with an audible snap. Another fluke multimeter that is useful in the shop or lab is the 8808A 5.5 digit bench type digital multimeter. It has many useful features as in the fluke 287 handheld multimeter. With 5.5 digit resolution and up to 0.015% accuracy, this fluke bench multimeter has sensitive DC leakage current ranges, front panel setup keys, and the TL 2x4 wire measurement capability, which enables accurate low resistance readings using just two leads. Built-in trim plot graphically plots extent of drift and intermittent events. The histogram mode can reveal stability and noise problems. If you can see the fluctuating numbers in the readout, that is phantom voltage, as in any digital voltmeter. Auto range makes the meter so sensitive that it reads its own internal noise floor. All of the fluke instruments described have user manuals and extensive service information, which can be downloaded free of charge at fluke.com. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.